everybody welcome back to the rebel jumps channel today we're doing a full review of the ultimate works hero v1 so i got the box in front of me and we're going to start taking a look at the contents of this box so let me take off the lid so boom here we go so what we get under this nice uh, protective uh, padding here awesome we get a lightsaber we get some greeblies and stuff there so let's take it out of the box and take a closer look shall we all right so now we got everything out of the box let's take a closer look to everything that we received with this package so we start with this little pack on the bottom let's take a look and see what's inside of it it seems to be the recharge cable here we go yeah so this is the recharge cable of the lightsaber it has a uh, micro usb recharge port on the lightsaber itself and this ends of course goes in to the computer or your recharger so that's really nice included in the package next up we have some other stuff as well take this away we get an Alarange key and um, there seems to be two little screws inside I'm gonna leave them in the package because they're very tiny and easy to lose then we have a, a little piece of paper here and this is regarding the um, user guide this is basically the user guide of the lightsaber so if you want to check that out take your time to pause the video and check out the information put that to the side so next up is the uh, blade plug a very nice blade plug I will show you the details going forward in a very short moment very nice we get a plaque again I will show that in a second very nice it says uh, look etc and lastly we get a lightsaber stand now I'm gonna assemble this stand and then we're gonna put everything nicely on there so we assemble the stand um, let's put everything on there and take a closer look shall we so now let's take a closer look at all the stuff that we get in this box we start with the micro usb cable as you can see um, nice to recharge the actual lightsaber i will show you in a moment how we actually can recharge the lightsaber uh, but it's always nice to get that in your box so you can actually start playing with your lightsaber and recharge it and here we got the uh, blade plug that is included so we will take a closer look now um, it has a hole in there so the light can uh, nicely shine through it it has a screw on the side so you actually can secure this blade plug in your lightsaber emitter very nice let me take a closer look nice fingerprint magnet uh, as you can see very cool next up is the back with the extra two uh, spare screws and an allen wrench key so that's nice to have that extra on hand whenever you need it and now we're going to take a close-up look at the awesome v1 lightsaber by ultimate Works. so we're taking it closer and we're going to start with the pommel now it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet I tried to clean it before the video but as you can see there's still some fingerprints on there uh, very beautiful shiny lightsaber very highly polished as you can see very very beautiful a nice tri ring on there as well very nice and then we have the pommel the pommel is vented for sound as you can see so now we're taking a closer look at the control box i already turned on the lightsaber so you can see those awesome blinky lights this is the auxiliary switch this is the main activation switch um very nice uh, tactile feel to them very nice and responsive buttons um, relatively low profile uh considered the uh, control box on top so that's nice they're not sticking out a lot as you can see very beautiful You can see the fingerprints on it as well um, that is the nature of this lightsaber now you can of course wear gloss I didn't opt to wear gloss because I feel it's always a bit uh, yeah I mean not masculine <laughs> and a bit of, a little bit feminine to start wearing gloss when handling lightsabers I mean they're meant to play with 
So um, that's what we're doing with them. Um, but uh, the control box is very nice. I like it a lot. Very beautiful. Very nice uh, copper slash brass elements there, as you can see. It has the two screws underneath the, uh, the underneath the two triangles. It just looks really, really nice. Very nice. Um, the control box is all solid, so it doesn't move or it doesn't do anything. Um, it's it doesn't slide. It's just very stiff. Very nice. Very sturdy. And now we're looking at the grenade section. As you can see, very nice, even uh, sections. Um, very nice touch as well. Um, it's uh, it's nice and smooth on the finish of the uh, chamfered end, so there's no sharp edges, etc. Very nice and thin uh, grenade section, actually. I liked it a lot. And now go a bit lower to the uh, actual thin neck section. Very nice, as you can see. Very nice thin neck. I love the look of this uh, whole thin neck section. Very nice. And now we have the emitter. It has two retention screws on each side to uh, retain the blade inside the emitter to make sure it's nice and secure. Now the LED is actually housed inside the emitter. So that means the um, blade depth is not shallow but it's not very deep as well because of course you have your whole LED unit in there with a tri RGB LED you can see the pin here that uh, digs into the blade when you put in a blade in there to retain and make sure your blade is nice and secure. I like the fact they did that at uh, Ultimate Work. So you have um, a blade retention screw on the top and bottom to extra secure that blade in there because you, of course you have to work with a bit shallower blade depth. Another cool feature is that you actually can remove uh, the control section on the top. Oh, So I have to wiggle it a little bit. But well, that's very nice. Um, it actually has two little points there, as you can see, that uh, keeps that uh, control box in place. Um, that's nice. And the nice thing as well is, you actually have two features. So you can either uh, put the lightsaber in this configuration with the smaller strips, or you can turn it over and make it a wider uh, strip. Um, so you have two choices and that's really cool. So it's a little bit like a hidden gimmick that you get uh, with this lightsaber. I uh, put it snugly back into place, just like so. Very snug, snug fit, so that's really good. You will not lose this control section. So now I will remove the pommel and show the recharge port and the SD card access. And there's this pommel here, so we take it off, put the saber down for a second. And this is the pommel itself. Very nice. Nice threads on there. And this is the inside. Very nice pommel there. Very good for venting sound as well, which I uh, demonstrate in a moment. So having the pommel removed, we actually can uh, review the whole battery setup. You can see the SD card, which is accessible here from the bottom. You just basically uh, push in and it clicks out and it comes with a small SD card this is a 16 bit a 16 gigabyte SD card so that's nice you can put a lot of stuff on there um, compared to some other Sabre companies that only give you a one gigabyte or two gigabyte sound uh, SD card um, despite the soundboard being able to support up to uh, six uh, sound banks uh, this is the uh, recharge port so you use that uh, cable that I showed earlier you plug it in there you plug it in your computer or you plug it into uh, a recharger and you recharge your lightsaber and uh, you can see the chassis there so the chassis actually can be extracted out of the lightsaber as well so we do a slow pull and we're gonna pull it all the way out so here we have the uh, chassis um, so it's a nice chassis with a movable battery setup. So if you don't want to recharge the battery from the actual recharge port, you can actually remove the battery and just put another one in there. So this is the uh, stereo soundboard on the bottom and uh, the uh, USB charging uh, chip. Very nice. So now I'm going to turn on the lightsaber and show you uh, how that works. Oh. Sorry. Uh, as you can see, uh, as 
as you can hear, a very loud lightsaber. Very sensitive because this is a stereo soundboard. Uh, the tri ring is uh, loose, so it will have a little bit of a rattle when you move it. But very nice. It has now uh, set it to a locking uh, effect. And uh, color changing, of course, is also possible. Very easy. Hold the main switch and then uh, hold the aux switch first and then toggle to the main switch. Oh, that's the blaster effects. And the blaster uh, lockup, uh, the blade lockup sound effect. So hold the main switch and then toggle with the secondary switch really fast to color change. Color changing really fast, by the way. Very nice. It's a very nice package. So um, I'm gonna uh, put the blade plug in there, show how that looks like, and then I'm gonna put in the blade and then demonstrate the lightsaber with the blade in there. So I will show you how the lightsaber looks with the blade plug in there. So I just put the blade in there. So it's a bit hard to see it on camera. Well, I'm trying to put it in there. And then we just secure the uh, retention screw, just, just, just enough that this one is in there. You don't really have to tighten it a lot because it will leave uh, a little bit of a, uh, a mark on the blade plug, of course. Now, it looks like this with the blade plug in there. When I turn on the lightsaber, it will look like this. That looks really cool. Nice shine through blade plug, you can see, very cool. Very nice, um, the nipple on there, as uh, they sometimes call it. Um, looks really cool, it has a shine through hole here as well. You can actually uh, actually put a screw in it if you want because it has uh, threading inside. So that's a nice feature as well. So as always, we're gonna measure the lightsaber. So I'm gonna put it on the side here. Um, C weights uh, 0.860 LP or um, 0.390 grams. So uh, less than 400 grams, 0 0.1, 0 0.4 T, or 0 0.1, 0 0.3 CA. And I think that's a very respectable rate. It does not feel heavy at all in the hand. Um, doesn't feel like 400 grams. It actually feels lighter than that. Um, and you have to think, uh, all things considered, it has a tri RGB LED in there, it has the Hysteria soundboard, it has a chassis, it has a removable uh, 18650 battery setup, um, it has a control box. I think this is a, actually a very, very good weight for this lightsaber. Now, besides the dimensions of the lightsaber already coming through the bottom of this video, um, I also do a quick measure up just to physically show the actual length of the lightsaber with the um, blade plug nipple thingy in there. Um, from bottom of the pommel all the way to the tip, it's exactly 11 inches on this uh, measurement lint which is a bit harder to show you, but it's there. Yeah, so it's 11 inches in terms of length. So one thing to note is that uh, the emitter depth is around 1.25 inches deep. So one thing you, be not one thing you should be noted of uh, that you need to get a thin wall blade in order to fit it inside this lightsaber emitter. In this case, I have a Vader's full thin wall blade and I crimped down the actual inner filament so I actually could fit the blade deep inside the socket. Now, I didn't cut it quite perfectly, but it's going in there. So once the blade is in there, it's a really snug fit already. Um, you can um, actually tighten up both retention screws to even increase the tightness. So let me turn on the lightsaber and show it off to you guys. Very, very nice. Let me turn off this light here for a second. And uh, we do some color changing and then show you more Very nice, so many colors to choose from. Absolutely fantastic, I like it a lot. Okay guys, here you go, that was the 
overview of this lightsaber by Ultimate Works. They did a fantastic job with their hero. I absolutely love it. Um, beautiful lightsaber design, uh, very well finished, uh, very good quality as you can see. The high polished finish is definitely a fingerprint magnet as I have demonstrated during the video. Um, I love the Asteria soundboard which is on par with the Prism 5.1 soundboard from Plaque to Labs. It has RGB, a very sensitive uh, motion detection uh, chip and overall just a beautiful lightsaber. It's nice and loud. Uh, everything is nice and solid and just works perfectly. So hopefully you like this video. Definitely check out the future uh, comparison videos for this lightsaber and uh, some other overview lightsaber, uh, some other overview videos of this lightsaber showing off the uh, capabilities of the soundboard. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.